then let me show you an example of mini crush so as you can see that this was a very challenging case uh, distal left main uh, lesion uh, with a short left main and an LCH arising uh, at about uh, 78 80 degree angle to the left main and in the uh, right image you can see here that uh, there was also a diagonal lesion uh, and uh, more to complicate the situation you had uh, another diagonal branch a fairly good size diagonal branch arising just uh, where the diagonal lesion is ending so what you have a scenario here is that uh, this was an ACS patient and uh, the left main you can see looking very bad osteal LED is very tight so you have uh, just to sum it up this uh, patient had a kind of a double bifurcation situation a LED diagonal uh, lesion uh, distal left main lesion so how do you go about it uh, we decided to do it through a mini crush and our uh, this, uh, our planning was that we are going to go for a two stent strategy at a LED diagonal bifurcation and we'll put a conventional side brush stenting at uh, the LCH ostium so it looked like a good strategy because this way you are really minimizing the complex uh, complexity uh, that is inherent in this uh, case and obviously for if you are uh, decided for a two stent strategy it's always good to have and particularly in left main situation where you expect uh, by uh, challenges it's good to have a femoral access so we had a seven french femoral guide one thing also you must note that since it was a, a proximal led lesion osteoproximal led lesion short left main and so we chose deliberately chose a jail guide instead of a backup because uh, backup was not an issue here one issue was wiring obviously we want, want to be very careful so uh, it's always good that whenever you are in such tricky situation wherever the wire goes let it be there and it really is going to help you so you can see that the wire has gone first into the LCH you leave it there because obviously you need to wire the uh, LCH but here you need three wires you have to wire the LED as well as the diagonal so what about the other branch so uh, this wrist we uh, I took here that uh, let it be that way so you can see here that pre dilatation is done so a pre dilatation was done and uh, in a crush, crush situation what you do crush stenting strategy what you do that you take one stent in the uh, side branch and the other in the proximal main branch to the distal main branch so it was in this case the side branch was diagonal to start with so uh, a stent was taken in the diagonal and another stent was taken from proximal LED uh, and in this situation since we had to cover the uh, left main also so we chose it uh, uh, stent uh, which was to be deployed from the ostia of the left main to the uh, almost mid LED covering the whole length of lesion so what you do is that you first of all uh, take two stents here one stent as you can see that is being deployed in the LED and you choose your uh, your operator view where this angle really opens up so it can be a aleocranial view or a aleocardal view whatever is in which the angle of LED diagonal is uh, opening up and uh, there is not much more, more much of a foreshortening so when you deploy the uh, first what you do is that you deploy the side branch stent with some of the struts into the proximal main branch and this is what is being done and it's always good that when you have uh, deployed the stent this was the deployment and uh, uh, there should be sufficient length of the struts in the proximal main branch so that you can effectively crush that stent with the other stent so after the deployment you can see here that the LA, uh, diagonal stent has been uh, is deployed and the other both the branches you can just uh, when it plays you can see both the branches are flowing so you can say that it was kind of a triple bifurcation diagonal diagonal bifurcation LED diagonal bifurcation and distal left main bifurcation so uh, we did not wire the other branch uh, we took this risk which was worth here so now uh, the stent in that uh, side branch has been deployed what you do is that you optimize 
the uh, positioning of uh, the uh, left main to LED stent here. So it's always good that the, if you want to really visualize the uh, osteo or the left main, the best view is either the aleotranial and areotranial. So whichever way you find that it's more. Prep Clinic. Dream Beyond.